Hi everyone, this is the last part of the series of text manipulation for Orohaki and in this video we are going to learn split path and learn how to parse XML data using COM. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Alright, so let's start with split path. Split path is used to separate a file name or URL into its name directly extension and drive and I've got a variable called input variable and in this variable I'm going to assign a string value that leads to a file that doesn't exist but it doesn't really matter because all I'm doing is a string manipulation by extracting the values that I want from this string. Now this is the syntax of split path and these are the optional parameters that you have to put in although you do want to put in at least one of these because you want to get something out of this split path command and so I've got examples here so let me go ahead and run this and the first thing that we're getting is the output file name which is the file name of the full file path that we provide so test.autohockey is going to be stored in the output file name and then the next one is going to be the which is the output directory and that's going to be everything except for the file name that we provide and then lastly I've, I'm fetching everything so I've got all these parameters filled out and I'm going to display the result in one message box so I've got file name, file directory and then file extension which is autohockey and then the output name without the extension so that's going to be test and c colon to represent the output drive which is going to be the drive where the file is supposed to be stored in now like i said this works for urls as well and i've got a url here which refers to the official documentation of split path command and if i go ahead and run this let's see what we get we get as the output file name we get the split path.htm this is the page within autoarchy domain and then if i go to the next one and i'll get the reference up until the page of split path.htm and then the next one is going to display everything in one go and then so i've got the first one split path and then everything up to split path and then the output extension is htm and then we've got split path which is the just the page name without the extension and then the last one is the domain autohockey.com all right so let's move on to passing xml data all right, so to pass XML data in AutoHotKey, you have to use what's called COM. And COM stands for Component Object Model. And if you're not familiar with Component Object Model, it basically is just an interface that allows you to connect to another program and utilize that program's function. Now, so we are creating a component object here, which is called Microsoft XML2. Dot dom document and we're using this component object model to read the xml data through autohockey so we have a sample xml data this is the syntax for xml data if you're not familiar with it it basically looks kind of like html it's got tags and then it's got it, this is called a tree and it's got sub tags and etc etc i'm not an expert in xml so i won't be going in depth here i'm just showing you that passing xml data is possible through autohockey so here we have created the component object model and then store that into oxml object xml and then we're using the load xml method to load up the data that we have created here into oxml and then what we're doing is so all these are actions that i'm taking put some enters actions that i'm taking in order to grab data from the xml file that we have created up here so we have now this i'm creating a variable here but it's not necessary so i can basically actually just i'm just gonna skip this part and pop that into message box directly and put t ext text later so what this is doing is it's grabbing the single node from the xml data and it's referencing this node this is going to be test and then sub one there is one node inside the sub one node and this is going to work 
but if you have multiple nodes like that it's going to grab two values right and display it in message box um, in which case you will have to specify which node within this this sub two node that you want to get which you can do by going uh, select single node and then put an item which matches the name of the tag within the sub two tag and this is the index number and the index starts from zero so zero is going to be uh, the item this this item here and then one is going to be this item here right and display the text in a message box right and uh, and then this one is another way to select a single node and this time we are going to narrow it down by category so you can see in this node we've got a tag called item which has a category of toy this is the way you can narrow it down by referencing the category name right so this is going to grab test 2 not test 3 and in this instance we are going to show in a message box the attribute called category so this is going to display a value of toy because we have a category of toy for that node and lastly we have instead of select single nodes we have select nodes and this is going to select all the nodes within this uh, tree part of the tree so we have test sub two and it's going to grab all of these items within the within the tree and we are performing a loop by the length of the items that we have grabbed which is going to be two so there's going to be two stored in this in this part of the code and then we're going to show a message box basically we are referencing the items within the within this part using the index here and I did a a index within the loop so a index in the first iteration of the loop will be one but I'm taking away one because XML data is zero based and then show the text from that node so if i go ahead and run this i'll get a message box that says test one here and that is this one All right this grabbed this node up here and display the inner text of the item tag right and then the next one it's again the same this is just demonstrating that you don't have to create a variable like that in order to grab the data and uh, and then the next one is going to show test 2 and test 3 and that is because we have provided this bit here uh, which is sub 2 and because we have specified which one of these nodes we want to get it grabbed both of them and then the next one is test 3 and that is this one and this time we have specified that we want item 1 which is item so this is item one this is item two and i want item one which is test three uh like i said this is zero based so the first one is item zero and then the one after that we are going to get toy in the message box because this time we're getting the attribute of the category and we have selected the node by actually giving the category that says toy and that matches this one and we're grabbing the category of this one so it's going to display toy as well and then next one we are going to go into a loop and the loop is going to have two iterations the first one is going to be basically the same as this one except the item is going to be zero so we get test two here and then the next one test three all right this is it for today's video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one